In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for Cu, that's copper. So the first thing to note, copper has two major isotopes. The only thing that differs with isotopes are the neutrons and the mass number. So we'll talk more about neutrons and mass number in a minute. First off, we go to the periodic table and we see the atomic number right here for copper is 29. So we have an atomic number of 29, and that's what makes it copper. That's its identity. If we know the atomic number for copper, we know the number of protons. So we have 29 protons, and that's for all isotopes of copper. Let's skip the neutrons. Talk about electrons. On the periodic table, copper doesn't have a negative or a positive sign. That means it's neutral, and the number of protons will equal the number of electrons. That's why it's neutral. The positive and the negative, they balance out. So since we have 29 protons, we have 29 electrons as well. Often you'll be given the number of neutrons or the mass number, and you can just figure out the other one based on that information. If not, sometimes you're given the isotope name. So this is copper 63. That means it has a mass number of 63. Copper 65, mass number 65. So the mass number equals the protons plus the neutrons. So 29 plus something gives us 63. 29 plus 34, that would give us 63. Likewise, down here, 29 plus 36 would give us 65. So the mass number, that equals protons plus neutrons. And so we have all the information here. If you had a sample of copper, most of it would be copper 63 have a mass number of 63 with 34 neutrons. About 72% of the sample would be this copper 63. Then about 17 or so percent would be this copper 65. If we average these together based on how much, based on abundance, we'd end up with right about 63.55. That's the average atomic mass. So again, usually you'll be given neutrons or a mass number and asked to figure the other things out here. If you're not, for many elements, you can just round it up. With copper, it's kind of a little more difficult because it's kind of right down the middle. So I don't know if I would recommend that in this case. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for Cu, copper. Thanks for watching.